Hey everybody, welcome back to Keep It Real in the Kitchen. I'm Candace Cole. Thanks so much for joining me for this quick tip slash life hack. Before we get to it though, guys, make sure you click on that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other quick tips or life hacks. In the mood for some fresh pop popcorn but don't have one of those really cool air poppers? Well, if you have a pressure cooker, that's not gonna be a problem. We're gonna make fresh pop popcorn inside our pressure cooker and here's how to do it. First thing we're gonna do is get our pressure cooker all plugged in. We're gonna turn it on cook. While it starts heating up, we are going to take three tablespoons of coconut oil and get that inside to get it all melted down. You could also use canola oil. I just happen to have three tablespoons of coconut oil here. Actually, I stole it from my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, I stole your coconut oil. Never told you. <laughs> we are also gonna use two tablespoons of butter and get that in there and melting down. I always like to cut it up smaller. Ow, hot coconut oil. Keeping it real in this kitchen your butter in. Now I'm coconutty. Yes. While that's melting, we're going to measure out a half a cup of popcorn kernels. Now we're going to pour in our popcorn kernels and get them covered with that butter and oil. Tyler's excited about that. Once we get them covered, we're going to cover our popcorn. I'm not going to lock the lid because then the pressure will start to happen and then I won't be able to get the lid off and then I'll burn popcorn. So I just put the lid on. We're going to listen for popping. When it stops popping or the popping gets slow, we're going to take it off. We're going to have fresh pop popcorn. I'm excited. I hear it popping. You're like, oh, check it out. It's popping that popcorn. I took the lid off just to show you it pop. All right, guys, there you have it. Fresh pop popcorn inside your pressure cooker. Please make sure that you subscribe. If you learned something, please like this video, share this with your friends, tag somebody, and I will see you next time on Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. Bye.